right guys we are driving for the first time in ghana so let's do it We're Team Apple, I'm Yabba, and we are Ghana bound. So today is a little story time um, about my first driving experience in Ghana. So as you saw from a previous video, I got a driving license um, from the UK. It's like an international one, so you can drive um, in the selected country for one year. So I got one for Ghana to give me, to buy me time really, to get my own um, driving license in Ghana. I'm really independent. I like to just be up and go, take my kids here, there, everywhere. For Sam and I to like just go have like a meal out. I don't always want to be Ubering. Um, when I first got here, watching how the Ubers are driving, the taxis, I just thought I can't do this. Like, like anxiety just overtook me. And I thought it's not my driving. Well, that's, you know, a matter of opinion, but it's not really about my driving or my confidence with driving. It's more about what the what the other drivers are doing, what the people on the roads and walking across you, the you know the hawkers, the people selling stuff, it's a lot. So um, Hubby made a suggestion, he was like, look, just, um, just take the kids in the car and just drive around the corner. So there's like a, like a shop around the corner. And in that situation, I didn't really have much choice because um, Hubs wasn't around at the time. He wasn't um, there that day, that morning, that that afternoon. So, and I had to get something for the kids for school the next day. So I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna have to do this. And okay, I could have walked it, but after school, the kids are exhausted. And I just didn't want that drama of carry me. And then I've got to carry the things, the two kids. I thought, I can't, normally in the UK, I just jump in the car and get it done. Um, childcare was, is a bit of an issue at the moment as well. So it's just, it's just like, I can't just up and leave. And Sam can't just up and leave. One of us has to be with the kids. Anyway, now then. So I said, you know what? Yes, I'm gonna drive across, like I'm gonna drive around the corner. I'm gonna just be the best, and this is all gonna be okay. And once I do it this once, it'll show me that actually it was more fear stopping me um, doing it, not not reality. It's actually okay to drive. Also, you've got to bear in mind the UK. We sit on the right hand side with the steering wheel, and um, Ghana, you sit on the left hand side. So that my brain didn't quite understand like how that works so I was hoping to have someone sit with me and give, maybe give me a couple of driving lessons like a cup like a friend or a family friend just sit with me take me like down the road and teach me how to drive on the Ghana roads but that didn't happen so I piled the kids in the car in their car seats and got in the car it's an automatic so that was easy it was like vroom, massive this car's massive right so I'm there like vroom managed to get out um, also when you're driving it it's like it's not my car so it's unfamiliar so there's just so many factors anyway so I um, I get right out we lock the door we lock the gate and we get round the corner so I'm thinking this is actually really good the drivers are being nice people were letting me go it was actually quite quiet on the road I was like thank you God thank you that you know this is the perfect situation for me to be driving in for the first time so I'm there like yes yes I can do this I can do this and then the engine just goes mm. now me being um, an experienced driver I just quickly you know pull into the side of the road and I'm like I call hubs I'm like hubs the cars just died he's like what okay no problem this is what you do so a couple of twists and turns a couple of go into park and then turn the engine on, spark it. Yes, 
Jesus, it has life. So I literally laid my hand on this car and said, please receive healing and take me to this shop, which is round the corner. So the car dies now, it dies again. We we put it into whatever setting I have to put it in. This car comes with terms and conditions, okay? It doesn't just drive, apparently. Anyway, we try again. And he's like, it should work now. Okay, great, okay. I'll trust you on that, mate. So I'm driving. Um, I get to the shop, which I was like, hallelujah. And me and the kids buy what we need to buy. And I come back into the car. Everyone's clicked in. We're good to go. Will it start? Do you think it will start? It started. So, rum, it started. I was like, yes. And as I come out, I kind of know my way home at this point. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I got this. So, I leave the shop. And I'm driving. I join traffic. And then there's this car parked, right, on the side of the road on the right side of the road as I'm driving and I misjudge the distance between me and this parked car and all I hear is a slap, pop, 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 clap, right? And I'm like, oh my goodness. I didn't say goodness, I said another word. But I was like, oh my goodness, right? And um, I pull, so I then park in front of this car that I just hit. I hit his wing mirror. Right? Oh, Lord, even just the thought of it is like, what are you doing? And I don't do, even in the UK, I don't do that. I'm, I'm so aware. The issue was, I was sitting in my brain on the wrong side of the road. So the massive part of the car, the front of the car, is on this side. But I'm used to it being on this side. So I was being spatially aware for like the wrong side of the, of the car, basically and i hit this guy oh i was scared and i had the kids in the car right you never you know like when something happens on the road you never know the kind of driver you're going to meet whether they're going to be like what do you think you're doing look what you've done to my car rah, 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 rah. so i get out of the car now and i go to the guy i'm like i'm so sorry i'm so and because i had my mask on right and i'm speaking in this brothel like the like english it was too fast so he was like i can't understand what you're saying I can't understand. I was like, okay, look, I'm really sorry that I just hit your hit your car. Okay, what can we do about this? And the guy, instead of him going, wow, what do you think you're doing? He starts to lecture me all calmly. He's like, what's wrong? Why? Why are you driving like this? What has caused you to drive like this? I was like, um, in my head, I'm like, all these excuses. And all I could come out with was, um, and he's like, okay. And I'm like, okay, so what do we do? So he said, you have to find a mechanic to price up how much this kind of damage would cost. And then you pay me through Momo. Momo is mobile money. So you, all you have to do is take the person's contact number, their full name, and then you can transfer money to them on, on your phone. So I was like, okay, first of all, thank God he's not like a rah, rah, rah. You know, he had his brethren with him. He had like a couple of guys with him. So I still felt a little bit intimidated but they were okay they were fine they were fine they were actually quite nice about it so i call um i call hubs cousin so they're on it now to get me um, a mechanic to price it up for this guy now one of our friends our family friends who's here he's like what's this guy talking about like look at the damage it's so small because i didn't even knock his wing mirror off all i did was crack the mirror and yeah that's bad enough but apparently for ghana that's like minor because they have a lot of bashes and bumps based on how they drive so my friends were like this is nothing call him back and you know say you're not even going to pay him this is like tiny but uh, i can't do that i'm like i'm just the yabba in me is like no just you're the one that hit him he was stationary so i'm gonna obviously get it sorted but yeah anyone else driven in africa and uh, had any and i say africa because I'm sure it's not just Ghana, and I want to count Africa as a whole, but all family. So has anyone else driven in Africa and like had some kind of experience like this, whether the cars just failed, sorry, I have to check and the goats weren't going in the house, um, the cars just failed, or you've been hit, or someone's hit you, 
Anyway, it majorly put me off driving ever again, anywhere. But uh, I've been advised, Tubbs was like, look, take a nice deep breath and just get in the car again and do it again and just try again. So I'll let you guys know um, how that goes. But yeah, comment below based on your experiences, any thoughts you have on mine. And please, please keep watching and sharing because I got, oh my gosh, I got so many more story times and little vlogs and stuff to come and show you guys. We really want to show you what, what life is like over here for us. So yes, thank you for watching and speak to you again soon. Bye.